Okay, guys, we have to take a second and appreciate the evolution of Bussy Boy. Because I remember getting the first big block of Bussy Boy, chopping it up myself, wrapping it in the cellophane, and sending it, sending it to you guys unmarked. Then we finally got some packaging. And this was the first Bussy Boy packaging, right? Then this was like Bussy Boy version 2. Then this was pandemic bussy boy. When the girls were like, okay, am I gonna pay for a new shipment of bussy boy or am I gonna pay for this for some fucking packaging? Either way, when I tell you we was in there cutting them boxes up, <laughs> cutting them boxes up and just making it work, shrink wrapping it. Like, oh, because when you really think about it, okay, whatever. We grew up in a culture, in an, in an American culture, where cuss words and all of these derogatory terms, these were invented by white people. I don't know why I ever got blamed for using the F word when you guys are happy to dance to the N word in my music. And especially the, bitches, the bitch that y'all really tried to sell me out for in the first place, the pig res. Uh, I still, that's, that's a thorn in my side. I'm trying to work. I to forgive you guys because I love you guys so much, but I can't fucking believe it. I still can't believe it. I, like, the gays owe me reparations for that. Y'all owe me reparations for shitting on me for that hoe. But anyways, you know, these girls, they come out and they want to, like, sell you glamour. You glamour and give you some pussy-ass statement about how you're born this way. And you can do it. You can do it, little gay boy, if you just put your mind to it. It's like, um, no. The girls want to be right and tight and light and tight. They want to be the bussy, bussy kind. Yes. Give the girls, give the girls the knowledge, girls. Don't, like, yeah. Like, who is really, like, engaging with you guys in that way? And, like, in a clinical way. And not embarrassed. And I don't give a fuck what these fucking trady ass like, undercover brothers think. Like, no. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a human thing. If you have irritation back there, like, look. Get this pussy boy. It's gonna clear it up. You know, like, I did that out of love. Babe would never, ever denounce, like, the straight male gaze to cater to the people who actually keep her lights on, actually keep her fucking bills paid, actually keep her glam squad employed. Like, these girls would never do it. They would never, ever, ever do it. They would never fucking do it. So y'all gotta understand the type of love and the type of understand. Like, I'm, I'm the mother. I'm the mother. I'm the mother that so many of y'all have not had. Okay, you can talk about art mother this, the art mother that, whatever, whatever, but like the real mother. The real mother, like the real mother that shows you how to who's really not gonna bullshit with you and shame you and do all that other shit and really just teach you how to like okay, like how a woman's mother teaches her how to put a first tampon in and how to shave her legs and all that. Like, no, I I really am here to tell you girls, like, okay, yes, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna get this, boom, get the bussy boy. Get the coconut oil, okay? Yes, now we got the glazed donut hole effect, okay? Get into it, yeah. Okay, so remember me telling you girls that the free gifts in the orders were gonna change from just all that like sugary candy to just something useful, right? This is the acupressure tool that I was talking about. You can lay on it on a hard surface and put it like anywhere on your spine, anywhere on your neck, under your feet or whatever but this is also okay y'all have been asking me for a soap dish for so fucking long right get into it bitch it's the fucking bussy bench 
the bussy pinch, bitch.